not going to be an easy video to make at all. Uh, I'm going to say a lot of things that are very personal to me. I'm going to say a lot of things that maybe some people don't want to hear, but I always want to be as honest as possible and let you guys know the true reality of things um, and how, how it can be. So this is one year living in Los Angeles as a freelancer. So about a year ago, uh, exactly today, um, I was not doing what I'm doing now, which is being a freelance DP uh, here in Los Angeles in the music video film circuit. I also do some branded content and any other sort of video content, you name it, to keep the bills going uh, and everything. Uh, this is my passion. This is what I love doing. Uh, no, a year ago today, I was getting in a car. Uh, with my girlfriend, we had $4,000 saved to our names. I quit my job, which was working at a Porsche dealership in North Jersey as a product specialist a year ago. Uh, with a week's notice, we came with $4,000 each, that's all we had, and we loaded up all of our stuff into a trailer, which we towed on the back of her, uh, her escape. Drove across the country for seven days, and... Um, I barely knew if the trailer was going to make it or fall off. We had all of our belongings to our lives. We had all of the money that we had to our names in our bank account and a little bit of cash along the way and some great friends who helped us move out here. And upon moving to L.A., the first week uh, was, was probably the scariest. The first day was amazing. You know, we got here and we were so happy. The sun was shining. We had just driven through, like, the worst snow and everything. And when we got here, after about a week, we were looking for an apartment because nobody would let us look at some place online um, or even apply. So we were looking for a place nonstop. The savings started to go real, real quick, uh, and I, I began to get worried. And um, you know, four thousand dollars in the real world does not go very far, especially in Los Angeles when you got a car payment uh, like I do. You got other bills. Um, and you're eating out every day and you're staying in Airbnbs. So that was uh, honestly really scary. But uh, long and behold, thank God we were able to get this place. It's a small little studio that I live in. And uh, a lot of people out there don't have a home. Uh, so I'm just super thankful to be sitting here. So fast forward maybe about a month uh, into living here. Um, I had met a great friend, his name is Mike Dolgen, or actually his real name is Michaela Dolgen. I had driven down to San Diego to meet him. I met him on Instagram because um, I actually followed his brother who was big into fitness. And till this day, he has remained one of the greatest friends that I have ever met in my life, and he's taken care of me. And this is the no bullshit version. This is the truth down to my heart, and I mean it. Um, if it wasn't for him, like I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't be standing here at all. There are times when I had negative, negative $100 in my account. There's times where I would drive around and I would deliver food on Postmates because I had no money. And a lot of times I sat there and I wondered, man, <laughs> the hell am I doing out here? You know, I had a great job. I had health insurance in, uh, in New Jersey and made a lot of money, worked in luxury uh, car dealership. And, uh, you know, life was good and there was the security of it, but there was still that fulfillment that I needed for myself. I couldn't just be uh, a person who carried out a task and, and gave it my all. And at the end of the day, I was a replaceable pack of cigarettes. So in all those times when I drove around, I made $40, $40 for six, seven hours of work, driving around on Postmates with my leased car, cranking up the mileage. I would have to remind myself, why did you come out here? What is that fulfillment that you want deep down? What is it that you need so badly? And just push through and all along the way, Mike was there. Uh, my beautiful, amazing girlfriend, Michelle, was there as well. And I'm not telling you this to make you cry or anything or make, me feel, make you feel sorry for me. This ain't a pity party at all. Um, honestly, those experiences are some of the greatest things that help me to grow, to push to the next level mentally. And um, 
and truly enjoy what I do and be thankful for where I am. So over the past year, I've done so, so much and I'm beyond thankful for that, you know, despite the struggle. And that's just one of many times. Um, But I'm thankful for the opportunity. And I, I tell you this, guys, because coming out to any major city and coming into the film industry and going full time is not easy. But honestly, I think that there's never going to be a perfect time. You're bullshitting yourself if you think there there is. And honestly, I thought that there was. I would not be out here today as well if it wasn't for my girlfriend. She knew that this was my dream and everything. She got a job out here and said, that's it, you're quitting. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here at all. And that made me realize that there's no perfect time. You're never going to be perfectly ready. If I took you tomorrow at age five years old and I said, do you know how to swim? And this is a story my dad told me about his grandpa. He said, do you know how to swim? He took him out to the Chesapeake Bay in Virginia. He said, no. Picked him up, threw him in the water, and he said, now you do. So... If there's a will, there's a way, and you're going to figure it out. So don't ever think that at all. And also remember, guys, that the human spirit is honestly one of the most powerful things. And the human mind is just immensely capable of more than you could ever believe. So over the past year, I've been able to gain hands-on knowledge by moving out here to Los Angeles that... I just did not have access to living in New Jersey. I've gone to some of the best film workshops at Able Cine, at Ari, at all other great places and learned grip techniques, lighting techniques, camera lenses, post-production workflow, um, as well as working on set with some of the most talented people. Um, and, and in addition to that, I've worked with and still work with some of the most talented, dedicated, and hardworking people. Um, another person who's in my circle who I just cannot thank enough to the bottom of my heart is Joseph Argetta. He's a guy who found me on YouTube as well. Um, I said, yeah, what the hell, man? Come out. Let's uh, let's have a shoot. He started doing BTS for us. He gaffs. He grips. He drives two hours from Ventura with traffic down to Los Angeles. And nobody, nobody I know out here works their ass to the bone like he does. So, dude, if you're watching this, thank you sincerely. Um, along the way, guys, I've, I've also had the opportunity to just film some amazing projects that I never thought I would even be a part of, some of which I cannot share BTS of, uh, others of which I can uh, for, you know, privacy and confidentiality reasons. But I've been a part of, you know, two million dollar shoots um you know i wasn't the dp on that or anything but i'm sitting there and i'm standing uh, and i'm standing there and i'm thinking you know man how, how does some like little shit from new jersey who learned everything on youtube who never went to film school who doesn't know anybody at all stand here right now and they're paying me to do it you know because when i came out here I won't say names, but there was definitely a lot of people, especially at the dealership or um, just in the circle of people I knew that I could feel their energy and they doubted. And don't ever let anyone, anyone at all doubt you and your capabilities and how far you can go, because all it takes is a little bit of time and a lot of your effort. You know, even in a month, you can push the needle that much higher. So again, guys. It's uh, and there's Mike texting me right now. Um, again, guys, it's uh, it's all what you put in is what you're gonna get out. There's never gonna be a perfect time at all. Um, and this video is really just to reflect that here now, one year later, where I was starving for work, where I would do PT BTS for people, I would do PA work, I would shoot videos for a hundred dollars. I've shot videos for three hundred dollars. I've shot videos for fifteen thousand dollars. And this is not to brag. It's just I'll do anything possible to take me one step closer to my goal and my dream, um, as well as also you got to pay the bills some time so don't ever be afraid or be too good to do anything just work 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 your ass to the bone and you are going to get somewhere um, so sitting here today in the past two weeks i've been thankful enough um, or, or let's just say a month in the past month of dp to music video uh, for a pretty pretty big artist i've flown out to nashville and shot two music videos one of which for warner label which i am so thankful and so proud of uh, and thank you to rachel deeb if you ever see this at all for giving me that opportunity and taking me out there i came back to la shot another music video and then this weekend we are uh getting ready to shoot uh asher levine who is an amazingly talented um 
amazingly talented fashion designer. We're going to shoot his campaign this weekend of his new From the Vault collection. So it's just, holy shit, a year ago, you know, I didn't know anybody. I didn't know what the hell I was going to do and was doing anything possible. Postmates, we've walked door to door. That's how I got some of those dealership gigs is because I used to make videos for the dealership and we walked door to door because that's all I knew and that's the only way that I knew how to make videos and make money. So fast forward a year and all of this has happened. You know, I'm finally starting to crawl. I'll put it that way because um, I've had to put it in my mind for the past year that I am broke. You know, living out here is not cheap. My car insurance went up. <laughs> my car insurance is two hundred and seventy dollars a month because I live in Hollywood. Um, amongst many other things, the gas and everything else. And this is not to complain. It's just telling you guys that there will be struggling no matter what you do. And this is not blame to California or anything at all. There will be uh, if you have a big dream in life, but you cannot let those things get in your way or be a barrier and divider to what it is that you're trying to accomplish in this life. Because if you let that happen, you're going to sit one day and you're going to be old and you're going to wonder what if. You know, so don't wonder what if, guys, um, before I keep on rambling and going on here, I just want to thank all the great people in the Los Angeles film community. I want to thank my girlfriend, Michelle, for taking me out here, for supporting me every single time that we barely had any money for groceries, uh, for supporting me every single time that I went in on a project and gave it my all. I gave it my mind, body, blood and soul would come back to the bed right next to me here and uh, just collapse after 18, 19 hours of shooting all the pre-production and get up the next day to do it again. I wouldn't be able to do it without you. And thank you to Joe. Thank you to Mike. I love you guys. Um, sorry if I'm getting emotional. But um, one year here, man. One year here. So let's keep it going, guys. Uh, appreciate all the love on this channel. I appreciate where I am today and where I'm going to go. Keep dreaming, you guys. Keep on dreaming. Do not ever let anybody tell you you can't do anything. Because you can and you will so happy creating i hope this touched maybe you know two five of you doesn't matter but i hope you guys genuinely enjoyed this uh go out there and create inspire do what you love and uh spend your time here on this earth with happiness this is sean with venture art house hoping to keep it real take care